Do you find balancing the demands of your business with your family life to be a constant struggle? Are you seeking effective ways to manage your professional responsibilities while being present for your family? Do you want to know how to harmonize your entrepreneurial journey with your personal life? Hi, this is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo. And if any of these questions resonated with you, then you are in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to guide you on how to create a fulfilling life where both your business and your family thrive. These five strategies will help you find the balance that you yearn for. The first one is prioritize and plan. The second one is to set boundaries. Next, it is to delegate and to outsource. Number four, incorporate family in your business. And number five, take time for self-care. Sounds doable or sounds difficult? Hmm, I think it should be doable. So great. So let's dive in right away and let us explore each of these strategies. Here's strategy number one, prioritize and plan. Now, always begin by prioritizing and planning and making it a cornerstone of your approach. Why is planning important? You see, effective prioritization helps you concentrate on what's most crucial in both your work and your personal life. And to do that, you need to utilize tools such as calendars and to-do lists to schedule time for business tasks and family activities. Now, this helps you make sure that both will receive the attention that they need. Meet Lisa Amenti, who owns a tutorial center in her neighborhood. Before we met, Lisa was struggling to keep up with her tutoring business and family life. And during our mentoring session, Lisa sighed and said, Mommy, and I just don't know how to manage everything. There never seems to be enough time in the day. And I nodded sympathetically. I understand her frustration. It sounds like you need to find a way to prioritize and organize your tasks, I suggested. And feeling overwhelmed, Lisa replied, but I don't even know where to start, Mommy N. And I said, that's okay. I reassured her. How about you try using a digital calendar like Gcal or Google Calendar to plan your days? It might help you see where your time is going and how you can better manage it. Lisa hesitated for a moment before nodding and she said, Okay, I tried that mommy end, but it did not really work. So we sat down and discussed what went wrong and what she could do to improve it. And as the weeks went by, Lisa started to notice a difference. She couldn't believe how much more organized she felt. Google Calendar helped her stay on track with her tutoring sessions and still gave her enough time for her family. Now Lisa can finally breathe a sigh of relief, knowing that she's got everything now under control. Next is strategy number two, which is to set boundaries. What are boundaries? To put it simply, boundaries are just like lines that we draw to separate different areas of our lives. When it comes to work and family, setting boundaries means creating clear limits on when we focus on work tasks and when we dedicate time to our family and personal lives. In other words, setting boundaries prevents work from spilling into our family time and vice versa. So decide on your work hours and tell your family and your team about them and try your best to stick to them. Here's how Rose was able to do that. Rose is a wife and a mom in her early 40s and she runs a mini grocery store. She often found herself struggling to balance the demands of her mini grocery store business and her family life. And when she reached out to me about it, we both explored what's the best thing she could do. Using her experience in managing her store, Rose made sure she could do important work without taking time away from her family by planning her schedule carefully. After setting her work hours, Rose clearly told her team and her family when she'd be at the store and when she'd be with her family. And by sticking to those boundaries, Rose saw her store and family life do better. Overall, she felt happier. Now, is that something you want to do as well? Moving to strategy number three, delegate and outsource. To free up more time for important things, try delegating and outsourcing tasks in both your business and personal life. This means giving some tasks to others so that you can focus on what is most important. In your business, you can give tasks to trusted employees or hire someone from the outside. And at home, you might want to think about using services like cleaning or meal delivery to help out. Here's an example. Let's talk a bit about Nina. Constantly feeling stressed and guilty about missing family events and school activities of her kids, she reached out to me for advice. And after discussing her challenges, I suggested to Nina that she consider outsourcing some of her tasks to free up her time. 
Now, taking this advice to heart, Nina outsourced some of her accounting tasks and hired a part-time virtual assistant to assist with administrative work. Additionally, Nina opted for the services of a cleaning group to help her manage her household responsibilities. Now, these changes allowed Nina to regain control of her schedule. And now, Nina has more time to focus on making strategic decisions for her business and enjoying precious moments with her family. Wonderful, right? So let's continue with strategy number four. Incorporate family in your business. Hmm. If possible, involve your family in your business. That is what I have done a lot of in the past more than 30 years of my life. Now, think of it this way. Involving them helps your family to understand your business commitments. This can be a bonding experience as well. And of course, this depends on their interest and their age. So involve each family member in simple business tasks or decisions. Now, I want you to meet Lily, a coaching client who owns a flower shop. Lily was struggling to keep up with the demands of her flourishing business while also juggling her responsibilities as a parent. Feeling overwhelmed, Lily reached out to me for guidance. I just don't know how to manage everything, she confessed during our call. I want to grow my business, but I also want to be there for my children. I listened attentively, understanding her dilemma. Now, have you considered involving your children in your business? After all, they are all in grade school now, I suggested. Now, it could be a great way to spend quality time together while also getting some help with your workload. So Lily's eyes lit up with excitement at my suggestion. That's a wonderful idea, Mommy and I'm sure they would love to help out. So Lily took my advice and got her kids involved in making flower arrangements and delivering orders. It helped her work less and brought her family closer together. Instead of feeling overwhelmed, I feel like we're all in this together, Mommy Ann. Lily exclaimed, beaming with pride. We're not just growing a business. We're building beautiful memories as a family, Mommy Ann. That's something you'd want to do as well, right? Finally, for strategy number five, take time for self-care. So when was the last time you treated yourself to a spa or a relaxing moment at the cafe or finished reading a book? As women, we often tend to prioritize others over ourselves, right? However, remember that taking care of yourself is crucial for maintaining energy and focus for both business and family. Schedule regular me time for activities that relax and rejuvenate you, whether it's reading, exercising, or pursuing a hobby. Are you like Patty? Patty's business sells office furniture, and she's proud of it. However, she felt stressed and burnt out from running her small business. And realizing that she needed a change, Patty decided to prioritize self-care. She leaned into her love for sports, starting with scheduling regular gym sessions and taking weekend hikes to recharge her batteries. As a result, Patty noticed a significant improvement in her overall well-being. She felt more organized, focused, and able to handle the challenges of running her business. So you see, balancing business ownership with family life is indeed a challenging but achievable feat. Like the people I mentioned in this video, you too can create a fulfilling life where your business and your family life will complement each other. Remember, it's about finding what works for you and your unique situation. If you're ready to learn more and to take your business to the next level, remember to subscribe to my newsletter for more insights and tips. Together, let's unlock your business's financial potential and create a thriving future for you. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, stay inspired, stay empowered, and keep reaching for your dreams. This is Mommy N, your Mommy Negosyo, saying, be business-minded, Pinoy. Mommy.